What truly moves us to live our most extraordinary life? Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm so happy that you've dropped by for another episode of Extraordinary Women TV, where we learn how to bring our greatest passions to life. My first guest is Dr. Vivian Brown. She's a Toronto-based family physician and vice president for Medicis Health Group. Her major interests are women's health issues, and one topic that she's passionate about is the eradication of the HPV virus that causes cancer. Dr. Vivian Brown, welcome to the show. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you so much, Shannon. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, you still look so beautiful in this blue color. <laughs> Doctors usually wear white and black, but I know better for TV. So you're a family physician. Uh, you're very involved with uh, Medicis uh, Health uh, Group. Mm -hmm. um, did, when you became a doctor, I mean, was it something that you wanted to do from the time you were, you were a child? Just say, I want to be a doctor one day? I don't think so. Um, I shied away from science in, in high school because I wasn't sure that it really suited me and that I was bright enough for it. And then when I was in university, I realized that I wanted to do something where I felt I could make a difference. Did you uh, find a, a lot of competition with the guys um, as you were going through the school? Absolutely. Yeah. Medicine is very competitive and at the mm -hmm. same time, very collaborative. And by that I mean when we're taking care of patients, everybody's on the same team. I like to say that in Canada, medicine is a team sport. It's not adversarial once you're through the system. It's adversarial to get into medical school, not to get out. You have a thriving family uh, practice. Uh, you, of course, are very involved with uh, Medicis. Um, what, what have been some of the challenges in terms of building a, a very successful um, family physician practice? I think one of the difficulties in medicine as a woman is achieving that work-life balance. So I know that you're very involved with Medicis, so tell us, what is Medicis? What, do you, what, what well, is your role? Medicis is a Canadian company that has been in operation now for more than 20 years. We are really around, designed around preventative health, and what Medicis is, is the number one provider of preventative health care across the country. And so an individual may choose to come to Medicis, a company may choose to send their executives to Medicis, or may invite Medicis to come into their company and, for example, do a wellness check, do everyone's blood pressure, everybody's cholesterol, and give some feedback as to how a company is doing in general in terms of preventative health. So it's a company that I feel does excellent work. It is not covered by the provincial health plans. It, it's an, an option for people to choose to come to Medicis, but I think it's well worth the time and effort if people want to get aggressive about prevention. And of course, this is something that's very important to you uh, in terms of women's health issues is, um, is preventing illnesses. It takes you around the world to speak. I, I know that you've got a trip coming up um, very soon. I do. Um, what's so important to me about prevention is that what we're really doing is not simply putting out forest fires. We're trying to prevent them. We're trying to prevent that first heart attack. We want to prevent an episode of cervical cancer. We want to prevent these diseases, not merely treat them. And, you know, one of the phrases that I use is, we want you to come to us as a client, not as a patient. Once you're a patient, something is already happening, and we're trying to prevent that by good education for patients and for doctors, and by good preventative health. You know, I think we've got phenomenal health care in Canada, and we need to use it in a preventative way, preventative strategies to prevent that first heart attack, to prevent cervical cancer, to prevent throat cancers, which we now can do with vaccine. That's what's so exciting for me. I mean, clearly our health as women, as busy career women, um, Having good health is important, um, of course, all the time, but it's especially important when you have a busy career uh, that you are still mindful of, of taking care of your health uh, instead of being so focused on deadlines and pressures. And it's easy to let some of those preventative things that we might otherwise do if we weren't so busy slip um, by the wayside. Yeah. Shannon, you've used the most important word. We need to be mindful. 
you know, what's really important is that if you are working and you do have a deadline and you put out 100% to achieve that deadline, then you want to sit back and say, okay, now what did that cost me? You know, I think what is really important as we talk about stress in our society is to really look at how we're managing our stress because everybody's stressed about one thing or another and what we know is that stress can have a great effect on your physical health not just on your emotional health. Um, I want to share with you I was at a lecture not too long ago and a woman named Elizabeth Blackburn who won the Nobel Prize a couple of years ago for discovering telomeres. Telomeres are the ends of chromosomes and what happens with too much stress is your telomeres shorten and your chromosomes or cell life shortens. So we now know that stress really affects you physically and that physical stress is aging. And what we really want to do is learn how to manage stress in a productive way. You know, when you're very stressed, you're studying for an exam, you do well. Stress is not always a negative thing, but it has to be balanced with enough exercise, with enough relaxation, with some of the other things in life. This is a perfect uh, place for us to stop and uh, take a break, and that means uh, it's my good to know minute. And uh, Vivian, I know that you've got a great success tip. I do have a good success tip, Shannon. I think that it's important that we understand when we say, and all of us say it, I don't have enough time for whatever. I don't have enough time to exercise. I don't have enough time to shop and eat properly. What we're really saying is it's not my priority. And if your health is never your priority, then you're really uh, putting yourself at risk. So we need to interpret for ourselves that when we say, I don't have the time today to exercise, that's okay today, but it can't be that it's never your priority. So time management and making yourself your own priority is what I think is an important success tip. And that's good to know, and thanks for that. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, more on Extraordinary Women TV, so stay where you are. Welcome back to Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner and I'm speaking with Dr. Vivian Brown. She is a Toronto-based family physician and VP for Medicis Health Group uh, here in Toronto. Um, really, um, this is actually quite an insightful conversation. I mean, during the break we were talking a little bit about something that is important to you, it's near and dear to your heart, um, and that is uh, the eradication of the HPV virus that causes cancer uh, through vaccines. Exactly. What's really exciting is in my lifetime as a physician, I've gone from treating women with pap, doing pap tests, picking up early abnormalities, picking up cervical cancers, referring them for the proper treatment. And that's what we did early in my career. And now at this stage in my career, what I'm seeing is that we can actually prevent these cancers. The association of HPV or human papillomavirus with cervical cancer won uh, Dr. Zurhausen the Nobel Prize in 2008 because for the first time we could identify a virus causing a cancer. And what's become of that is that there's vaccine to prevent this virus. Now this is a virus that can live in the body for some time without uh, showing any exactly. signs being there, isn't that correct? And Shannon, 80% of us have had HPV virus in our systems at one point or another. Mm. So in terms of it being frequent, it's out there. Almost everybody gets exposed. What we don't quite understand is why people have persistent HPV and it's persistence of the virus that leads to cancers. You know, many people feel guilty about actually doing something that could very well be good for them because they think first and foremost, uh, it actually is bad to have it done and it right. could save their life. I, I think really in medicine there's always a risk-benefit profile. We always have to think what is the risk of this treatment or what is the risk of not being treated? What is the risk of being vaccinated? What is the risk of not being vaccinated? So I think it's really a matter of understanding what's involved, talking to your physician uh, or a primary health care provider and really understanding what risk you're taking, for example, by not being vaccinated. So what would be the number one thing that, that we need to think about as women as we are then aging and, and in a healthy way uh, as we sort of approach those menopause years? Well, firstly, our great-grandmothers never made it 
through menopause and much later because the death rate was much earlier in the early part of the 19th century. Women in Canada are now living about a third of their life after menopause and you want that third to be very healthy and active. So I would say one of the most important things to consider if you're in your say mid 40s to mid 50s is diet, exercise, not smoking, not drinking to excess, and really choosing a healthy lifestyle. But for example, Shannon, people may not know that smokers go through menopause earlier in life than non-smokers. And estrogen, naturally produced estrogen in your body is very healthy. You don't want to go through premature menopause because you've been a smoker. We know that women who exercise have less hot flashes and usually function better through some of the changes of menopause. So it's not just around heart disease. Healthy living is important for different systems in our body. And it's really important for brain health, which is something that I'm getting more and more involved in. I wanted to take an opportunity to tell you about this. I'm now on the board of a charitable organization called the Women's Brain Health Initiative, which has recently started up here in Canada. And it's an organization that is really designed to uh, raise funds for teaching and education and research in women's brain health. So this organization is trying to improve that and educate women around brain health. And that healthy living that you do in your 40s is going to make a difference in your 70s and 80s in terms of brain health as well. So stay healthy to the best of our abilities, I think, is the, the key here. That way you stay a client and not a patient. Love it. Well, Dr. Vivian Brown, thank you so much for being here today and sharing some insight and tips. Uh, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Shannon. I've been speaking with Dr. Vivian Brown. She is a Toronto-based family physician and VP with Medicis Health Group. Well, for more information about Extraordinary Women TV, my guests, and to watch past episodes, I invite you to visit the website at ExtraordinaryWomenTV.com. And I'd love to stay in touch with you. Join me on Twitter for an empowering stream of Extraordinary Women TV updates. On Facebook, we can connect at Extraordinary Women TV. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm Shannon Skinner, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.